Welcome to the Cecil College Library. This short tutorial will teach users how to search within EBSCO databases. As always, you'll want to log into MyCecil, my.cecil.edu, and then click on the Library tab in the center. Once on the library's MyCecil portal, click on Databases in the gray menu to the left. This brings you to the list of all the databases to which the library subscribes. This tutorial will cover only those databases run by EBSCO, so please check out the video tutorials that cover the other databases available here. Let's scroll to the bottom and find the list of all of the databases that are hosted by EBSCO. Because these databases are all run by the same company, they all look and work the same. Let's click on Academic Search Complete to check them out. Again, because these are all run by EBSCO, they actually offer the ability to search all of these databases at the same time if you would like. Just click on Choose Databases where it appears above the search box and either select all or check off the databases you are interested in searching. For instance, I am interested in researching autism, which falls under both educational headings and medical headings, so I'll check off these types of databases. Next, I'll type my search term into the search box. I highly recommend that you always check the box for full text. These databases include a lot of citations for articles that we do not have access to, so by checking this box, you guarantee that all of your results, you will be able to read the entire article. For now, we can ignore the rest of the options below the search box. As you will soon see, these same options appear alongside the results list for easy access. First notice that it tells you how many results you got right at the top. I got over 44,000, which is not surprising considering how basic my search was. We can use many of the limiters listed along the left hand side to help trim that number of results. First, I'd like to point out the scholarly peer reviewed journals option. Oftentimes, your assignments will specify that you can only use scholarly articles. By checking this box, it saves you the trouble of having to determine whether an article on your results list qualifies or not. For more information on determining what is a scholarly article, see the tutorial Scholarly vs. Popular, What's the Difference? Beneath that is a slide bar that allows you to alter the time range. For instance, I might only be interested in the last 10 to 15 years worth of research on my topic, so I can change the slide bar to 2000 to 2014 instead. There are a lot more options along this column that you might want to test out on your own. Now let's take a look at the results. They include a lot of information up front, including all of the citation information you will need, the abstract so that you can easily tell if the article is on your topic or not, and these subject headings. Subject headings are assigned to reflect the main topics of the paper, and I find them extremely useful in two situations. If I'm having trouble coming up with other keywords to add to my search, or when I have found a perfect article, I like to then search for its subject terms to find similar items. Below all of that information is the link to the full text of the article. Once it opens, there are more useful tools along the right hand side. By using the icon that looks like a letter, you can email the article to yourself. The email will include all of the citation information and attach the full text of the article. I find that this is the easiest way to collect all of your articles in one place for future reference. This icon in the center that looks like a sheet of paper is a citation feature. When you click it, the citation for this specific article appears at the top in every citation style imaginable. You can see APA here at the top or scroll down for MLA. A word of caution, however, these are created by a computer and therefore are not always perfect. Be sure to read over the citation and make any necessary corrections. For instance, Small words in the title, such as for, and, of, etc., should not be capitalized. 
For those of you who like to copy web addresses for quick reference later, take note. The one that appears in the address bar is not permanent, and once you close your browser, it will no longer work. Instead, you want to copy the supplied permalink, which can be found by clicking the icon that looks like a chain link. You can see that the permanent link that will always work now appears above the article for you to copy and save. Permalinks are also provided on the results list, should you wish to return to that at a later date without having to remember all of the search terms that you used. This concludes the tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact the Cecil College Library by phone at 410-287-1005, send a text beginning with Cecil to 66746, or send an email to library at cecil.edu.